very She's dead. Where are we? Ballroom. There's a training dummy in there because Owen is downstairs. I guess nobody needs to open his casket. Doesn't matter now. What's the story here? Can't close that door. Can't close that door. That's broken. That's a thing, I'm not sure what it is. So some cheese and bread and apples, why not? <coughs> Oh, they're poison apples. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to eat one. That was an accident, but uh, I don't want to get caught in blames with this. Uh, ah, so that's what's on the floor there. That's an apple core. Lady Katya in the ballroom. Let's do it on this other page. With the apple. She's in room six. Uh, all right, let's. Ah, see physics. Drop them somewhere out of the way. I wonder if the cheese is also poisoned. No, that's not. That's good. It can help undo the uh, damage. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so, at least one guest has been murdered. And, uh, well, has died. Oops. Quietly now, guy. Quietly. One guest has died. I mean, poisoned. Uh, as uh, she was intended to eat it or not, I don't know. But uh, it does not bode well. Now, who was it we saw coming past here just before that? I think it was the lady in blue with the pigtail. I don't know for sure. Quiet. Where are we now? Uh, yeah, we've been to the meeting room. And we've been to the ballroom. So this is the solarium. Happy ending massage oil, okay. It's valuable, I guess. Sloughy towel, I don't need that. You can keep it. We saw that from the outside. So out the back there is the uh, archery place thing. All right, we're halfway towards the loot goal. At 11 out, 11:05 out of 2,000. Uh, if we keep going this way, we get to the chapel and a set of doors. Who sworn someone walked this way? Well, it wasn't her. Pretty sure it wasn't there. Mm -hmm. 
What's this? It's a gear and not hammer. Chapel serves for both both sects. The hammerites and the mechanists. It's probably a bad idea, someone might see that and get alerted and it might trigger a thing, I don't know. whistling. Where are we anyway? So we've just been to the solarium in the chapel. Let's cross them off. I think this must be reception. If this is the west wing, east wing, if we come here. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly over here. anybody in reception right now. Somebody upstairs. See those are apples, not shiny red apples, so it's probably safe. Wouldn't bet too hard on it. Uh, the guests on the map, okay. We've got that already. William Harwin, night manager. William, we, were, we won't need any staff present for the Owen event, but I am uneasy about not having anyone on site for the entire weekend. I want you to hold down the fort, so to speak. If they complain, just tell them it was a, just a misunderstanding on our part. What can they possibly do about it anyway? Anyway, if you need something from the safe, Thomas has the number. Arthur. Uh, Thomas is in shipping. Okay. Oh, Thomas has a safe code. He had his four dice. Uh, either way, this is center aligned. And just another staff key, that's two. You shouldn't keep that there. They see me? Or do they see something else? Dear dear. I thought I was in darkness. Somebody's getting alerted, not by me, and that's triggering a failure. That's. I'm not very happy about that because it's going to be very hard to do anything about without restarting the mission. Because it seems that. Uh... Well, I mean, I could edit the scripting, which might be a better way of it. <laughs> Edit the scripting so it doesn't, uh, not just going to alert that triggers it, but uh, actually seeing me. But, uh, I'm just going to wait. Wait here and see. 
if it's triggering off me or what. When I'm sitting here in darkness, I take that key. Yeah, that's that's triggering an alert. How's how the hell is that triggering an alert? Right. Well, I don't need that key, so I can I can live without it. So the person upstairs seems to be on a knife edge and the slightest sound of various classes is causing her. Countess to parent, okay. Let's just make a note of that. Um, I'm not sure why this objective didn't trigger when we found the other body, but okay, she's in reception, and I didn't see what she was killed with. Uh, someone is killing the guests. It has to be one of the other guests. There's no no one else here. Find out who. You have to find some evidence to prove to the City Watch that you are not the killer. Search the place for clues. Alrighty. Seems like another good saving point. Now, she's killed in reception with this statue, I guess. So we've been here. So, I mean, that lady in blue... Now, I wish I knew I'd had the intro there again, the briefing video, so I could uh, see who's who. But that lady in blue with the ponytail was um, walking back in here quite unconcerned at seeing a body. Which, you know, seems suspicious to me. And she's got a sword, useful for killing people. Here she comes. Oop, let's stay in the dark. See? Sword. Unconcerned. Nonchalantly strolling around. <laughs> oh dear. Dorcas Goodfellow. We saw her walking around earlier too, so uh, uh <laughs> Dear oh dear oh dear. I mean I don't understand why Garrett wouldn't want to be accused, but uh, no one knows he's here. I don't like the way she's looking at me. No one knows he's here in the first place, then. Jeez. Then, after all, why would uh, the City Watch even think he had anything to do with it? So 
did I use that dumb waiter before or a different one? I think that's one I didn't use. Oh dear. Fret it. What's left of him? Uh, frozen and shattered, I guess. Emergency release, okay. So you can't lock yourself in there. Oh, I see, that's the bolt. Um, well, I don't, I think I'm too late to start. Stop any of this. I've been down here, haven't I? Yes, I have. That's the dumb way that I came down. It's the same one. It does look like the same one. Oh, right. So I came in this door and went down there, and that was before everybody died. Alright, so we're just here again. Well, let's check out this wing now. I have a feeling the ghosting is going to be easier than it was. I don't see our uh, priestess friend. Now, is this turned off? Does appear to be. I don't get in and <laughs> no, just, just climb over. You're ready. Well, bonus, you snatched the old ale morning star. Good. Well, nobody was killed with that. Which I guess is good news. All right. Um, again, I know I crossed off a bunch of rooms here on the west room, but I think we're gonna have to visit them all again. At least to search for bodies, if not loot. smoking room. Yes, let's shut the gas lamps off. Still that thing. Nobody in the library. Still, people alive, and you know, this whole find evidence that it wasn't me is, seems easier to point the finger at people who are still alive. Maybe that's just me. No, nobody's in here. Haha, <laughs> nobody's in here. Haha. <laughs> um, yes. Nobody and nobody. Time's come to go upstairs then. So I can cross these off. We've been to all rooms the east wing and the west wing. Let's make another uh, save here. We're in the west wing. Upper. What do we expect to find? Um, 
Two, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the lounge. Oh, and one. One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Horridge, Deperin, Erlen, Goodfellow, Gerard, and Fritus. Sorry. Don't mind me. Start lucky this time. What? Ah! Are you ah! not a guest? I thought you were a guest. Frog beast awaits thee. I hope. Frog beast here, froggy, froggy. Here, <laughs> yeah, froggy, froggy. Gerard, they're one of the guests, aren't they? Oh. Uh, hmm. So. It says don't alert or attack any innocent guests. So maybe he's not innocent, maybe that's my <laughs> proof. Uh, I still don't think. I should go with that. Uh, let me just check where that save was before it. It was just before I went upstairs. Okay, so I can I can re I can reload it if I need to. If for some reason my uh, Fingerprints are found on Brother Gerard. Hang on. How's, how's the door locked now? It was open before. Oh, this is his room. Trickster, hammer, mechanist, thief. I see. That's mm. our that's our code for the downstairs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, anything special? Oh, I didn't read this before. Welcome to the old ale, brother Gerard. Tonight, five complimentary complimentary libations in the Overlook Lounge. Smoked baric pate on toasties, Austin Grand Crew. Wake for Uther Nathaniel Owen in the ballroom. Tomorrow, continental breakfast, pool, gymnasium, and steam bath open for guest use. Archery demonstration and lessons on the field. A recital by Dame Edith Whitcomb for harp and flute. The Old Town Trio in the Overlook Lounge. Roast chicken with fruit vegetables. In the library, a debate. Caras, heretic or visionary. Unto the most pious brother Gerard, greetings. Upon the passing of your distant relative, Uther Nathaniel Owen, you have been named as a prime beneficiary of his estate. You are cordially invited to attend a wake in his memory, as well as a reading of the will, at the Old Ale Retreat on Friday next. Room 9 at the Old Ale has been retained for you as part of Master Owen's bequest. The keys enclosed. Until then, I am your humble servant, Jebediah Howell. Three little taffers sitting at a pew. One met the builder, and then there were two. Ah, he brings... 
He brings his little uh, sayings with him to stick on the wall. So I don't know if he's dead or or not. He's crossed off the list. We might have killed him with our blackjack, but didn't fail the mission, which is good, maybe, but also bad, maybe. Um, can't tell from carrying him whether he's dead or not, because he's got a custom name. Uh, unless you script it, especially, a custom name just replaces the normal corpse or uh, whatever it says, unconscious, I don't know. But let's assume for the moment he is merely unconscious, we'll take him to his room and leave him there. So there's less <laughs> evidence to uh, point in our direction. Oh, uh, hello. His daybook. They have eluded me in the past, but now is the dark time. They shall not survive this night. That pesky night manager has been dealt with, and everything is in readiness. <gasps> oh, the night manager was downstairs in the casket. Uh, that's why he had the staff key. The explosive charge under the bridge will blow after the Victrola recording I have prepared for my guests is played. They will be trapped here, to be dispatched at my leisure and then out by nine with no one the wiser. It is almost time to start the show and meet my guests. The fools think I am one of them. They will soon learn otherwise. Lord Carlyle, this bumbling fool is fond of the ladies and his wine. The wine shall be the death of him, I think. How fitting, after he cheated my parents out of the family vineyard and then ploughed it under and let it lie fallow. For that alone he must die. Archibald Bumbleson, a walking pestilence, always seeking for healing vapours to clear his chest. I'll give him some vapours, all right. Had he not coughed in Mother's face that day, giving Mother that near-fatal illness? But no, that insult has sealed his fate. Governor Horridge, the Governor has trouble sleeping, a guilty conscience, and takes a sleeping draught each night. Well, the draught I have prepared for him shall grant him the sleep of the dead. Perhaps you will dream of the day he sentenced my innocent brother to Cragscleft. Perhaps you will meet my brother in the afterlife. One can hope. Countess de Perrin. Ah, the Countess. She has a tendency to sleepwalk. A dangerous failing. Or is it falling? For one of her years. I do hope she, st she stays clear of the railings. That first step can be a big one. She never should have opposed my application for listing in the society register. Dorcas Goodfellow. Dorcas thought of herself as an, as an accomplished chef, but all that her mushroom stew accomplished was to give me the runs for three days. Mother dismissed her, of course, but the stains in my wardrobe would never come out. I shall give her an appropriate centerpiece for her celebrated roasted chickens. Constable Brenda Masterson. I was a kid, running messages and picking pockets to pass the time. Constable Masterson thought I could use some time in the juvenile home. My parents thought otherwise and prevailed with the judge. But I never overcame the shame of having been caught. Well, I've heard that she never learned how to swim. We shall see. Lady Katya Signoli. That trollop. When mother caught her with father, I thought there would be blood. But money is thicker than blood, it seems, and father was able to mollify mother. A pity, since it was I who casually mentioned father's indiscretions. That alone delayed my inheritance by years. Still, Katya knows too much. Friend Erlen. Erlen was deep in the councils of Karis and was involved with the early servant experiments. Mother was one of the tramps that Truett delivered to Karis. That was after father had died and I had all but secured the inheritance. But still, that was ill done and she bears some of the blame. The others are dead but I still have some grievance with her. We shall have a nice conversation. Mayhap she will get my point. Freitas. I had such a lovely garden as a child. A secret garden. And Freitas dug it all up to plant vegetables. It doesn't matter that father told him to do it, it was his spade that slew my pretty flowers. Freitas never did like the hot, humid days of this southern clime, always sneaking into the cooler to clear his head. I have a cure for all his ailments, but I think I'll surprise him. This <laughs> last two pages are the same. Well, I think we found... Uh, 
our uh, perpetrator. What does Gerard mean by out by nine? He must have an escape route, route planned. Find it. Uh, okay. So, Brother Gerard is the murderer, and you could be next, unless you kill him first. Optional. Oh. I see. So, I guess I did kill him. Uh, with that last blackjack blow. <laughs> and that's why it didn't end the mission. Alright. Uh, feels like maybe the evidence should be here. No, I should take it with me. That's the town. Alright. Uh, okay, that's not the way I thought it was going to go. I mean, everyone else is dead. And I just have the run of the place now. Oh, the attic. I'll mean, we'll leave that for later. I'm going to search this place top to bottom, or bottom to top, I suppose, since we came in at the ground floor. I think that means there's no one else left alive to stop me. Oh, hang on, I've got the staff key. I've got the staff key now, I shouldn't need to pick all these locks, right? Yes, I should just open all the doors. Good, good, good. Save me time and pain. Two little taffers aiming for some fun. One really got the point. And then there was one. Unto the most pious friend, Erlen, greetings. Upon the passing of your distant relative, Uther Nathaniel Owen, you have been named as a prime beneficiary of his estate. You are cordially invited to attend a wake in his memory, etc, etc. We haven't found friend Erlen yet. Seven little taffers chopping up some chicks. One chopped her head off. And then there were six. This must be Dorcas Goodfellow. Yeah, recipe is made easy. To stew burrick. Take good fat burrick, slice it very thin into small pieces, and beat it well with the back of a chopping knife. Then put it into a pot and cover it with wine and water, and put onto it a handful of good herbs and an onion. Let it boil two hours. A little before you take it up, season it with what spice you please, and serve them up. More towels. Welcome to the old ale, Dorcas. And greetings, as you have been retained to cook for ten guests, including yourself, blah blah. Your celebrated roasted chickens have been specifically re requested. In addition to your substantial fee, you are also welcome to take advantage of all the resort facilities after the wake. Roommate has been retained for you, etc, etc. Okay. automatic lights. Is the staff key open that? Or do I have to pick it? Let's pick it. I don't think they've hidden anything yet behind the bellows, but... Uh... Splash. I like that. More nice scripting of uh, when you pick things up. Nice touches. Uh, let's turn all the gas thingies off. Anything in the bucket? No. Staff key. This is room two. Crystals, who's this? Countess de Perrin. Uh, everything else the same. Small loots. We're getting near our goal now, 1727. More fluffy towels. 
Eight little taffers looking up to heaven. One had a nasty fall, and then there were seven. Ah, so he has put these uh, little notes in front of every guest. Oh, hello. Hmm. Well, if she's the only one left standing, is she going to be uh, blamed? Thought. Three little taffers sitting in a pew, one met the builder, and then there were two. Hang on. Does that mean he was supposed to die in the chapel and things went different? I would go. This is where are we? Let's make a note to go to the attic. I hear you there. I see you there. Oh. Is that all that's left? One little taffer left all alone. He froze his little self, and then there were none. Oh, this is Frieza's room, and he was. <laughs> oh, I like that. He took the tail out of the chest. And put his, like, rags or something there, because he's a pagan. He doesn't like sleeping on the bed. He wanted to sleep in the way he's used to. Uh, what's this? Oh, some, some cups on a tray. And that's his key. Not that he needs it anymore. Alright, we'll come back to the attic. Go up the other stairs to get to the other wing because I don't think I can sneak past the uh, whatever her name is. <clears throat> what concerns me is that we actually haven't seen most of the guests yet. Have we? We're missing half of them. Okay, uh, before I do that, we have... Firstly, we have... Uh, we can go down to the basement again and get the safe code. I haven't found the safe, which is surprising me. Is this the way? Oh yeah, that's the gym. So this is the way to the rest of the basement. Oh, I guess the safe may be... What are these for then? Lights? Electric lights? Maybe we can just turn them all off. I thought it might do something not so good. Alright. Uh, so 6161. Or is it 3524? Probably 3524. Stick that on the notes. I haven't found the safe, but we've got the code. And back in the library, I think we can. Uh, what was th oh, there's nothing through there. think all right kitchen quiet cat quiet all 
Alright. Yeah, she came from over here. Wait, but the library's this way. Right, let's. We've got uh, the note, which was about the library, which should tell us which order to prop these books in. Maybe I'll stop in for a little light reading. Yeah. Where's that note? Trickster Hammer, Mechanist Thief. Uh, trickster? Hammer? Maybe. Mechanist? Thief? No. Trickster? This one's Hammer. Mechanist and Thief. Uh huh. Ah, uh, this is what I'm looking for. What does Jerome mean by out by nine? He must have escaped with planned. Find it. So, key number nine. That's. Doesn't tell me. Oh, locker number nine. The locker room key. Alright, alright. Yes, we go to the locker room. First, we don't have enough loot. We have. Uh. 1,777. And I've got to go to the other wing. Okay. Now this episode has been going on a little longer than usual. But I might split it in post. I think it'd be silly to stop now because we're almost done. Go to the chapel. Or as far as I can tell in here. Anyway, we need to come find the stairway. Here we are. Still walking around. Interesting. So the Victrola message. He's collected works. Dark Camelot. Ah. Oops. Their music collection. Well, oh, oh, I was about to say nothing, nothing in here, it's just another bathroom, but no, nope, there was something in there. Staff key, where's my staff key? Another way to the attic, okay. Let's turn off them. Alright, let's go to the attic. We'll do it now, I suppose. I assume both. Oh, there'll be two separate attics, right? One for each wing. Penelope! After all the rooms were prepared, give the girls some spending copper for a night on the town. The client has his own staff this weekend. I agree with your dismissal of Carrie. We don't want any of the girls working a side job like that. I understand that Mina and Misa have another sister. Make an offer, Arthur. Servants' quarters. Staff quarters. Accounts, five copper, five copper, five copper. Dis dismissed for slovenly morals. You never be too careful with his morals. They get dirty so easily. Ladies' night at the Jolly Pagan, two for one drink specials. Leopold von Tennyson. So this is staff quarters, and the staff are away, so. They surely won't mind if I take all their belongings which they didn't leave behind. And their packs of cards.
Mum, Mr. Capessa is giving everyone the weekend off with pay. Maybe I can treat you and Dad to a nice dinner at the old barrack. The old battle axe is screaming at us to hurry up. I hope I have time to finish this letter. Already? Not much of value there. We were on what, 1700 before? That would have got us about uh, 50 or so. Staff key, staff key. Hello. He also looks alive and somehow stuck in the corner. Masterson. Okay. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be stuck in the corner like that. It's a very unusual <coughs> place to stand, but I'll just leave him to it. Six little taffers learning how to dive. One taffer couldn't swim. And then there were five. So he's supposed to be drowned in the pool, but is not drowned in the pool. Alrighty. Now you're a nuisance. And I don't have... I don't know if I have any way of getting past you into uh, room number one. You're the one that gets alerted when I make noise. All right, well, let's let you out. Bumbleson. What's that in the shadow there? Hello? Hello? Five little taffers starting to explore. One got a little hot, and then there were four. Uh, right. We went, we haven't been into room number one, which is Governor Horridge. Uh, we've been into room three. I think so? That's four. Three's down here. Oh yeah, wait, it said Brenda Masterson, didn't that? That's Governor Horridge in that room. I think where they died matters. Uh, what's Governor Horridge doing in there? We've been into Umbleson's room. Been into that room. Five and seven. I think I've been into seven, but I'll double check. We'll go up to the attic there. Five we haven't been into, but it's down this way. Uh, down. Oh god, I'll turn around again. That's four, down here. Yeah. Anything back there? No. Q drop. Who hates mechanists? of junk. I mean, it makes sense. Who stores valuable stuff in an attic, right? Aha! Objects complete. That's our loot goal.
This is Lord Carlisle's room. Ten little taffers drinking all the wine. One drank a bit too much, and then there were nine. But I went to the wine room, he wasn't there. No. Oh, the builder. Four little taffers having fruit and brie. One choked herself to death, and then there were three. Lady Katia Signoli, yes. That's an apple. But, uh, not Brie. Oh, she's got a ring, that's, that's, that's a value. Okay, so. Firstly, where is the safe? I have the safe code, but I don't know where the safe is. Secondly, where's the other stair we were at? Which takes us to another attic. So Mr. Bumbleson coming this way. I have a feeling she's going to stop us getting to... Uh, to be well where I would like to be room number one I think I've got everything I need to uh, finish the mission without it but uh, I would like to get all the obvious loot if possible uh, counts five copper minus one silver for crappy Amy <laughs> Five copper? Minus five copper. You forgot to properly store your gear again. Oh. oh I've been here. No, I haven't. They just left all the chests open. I definitely haven't been here. Hex marks the spot. Crappy Amy. <laughs> Look at that. He hit the window. Nice. You're supposed to hit the bullseye, it's not that hard at that distance. Although... How do I open that? Is, does it open? What if I hit the window? Oldale guards, this is your only warning. It has long been the policy at Oldale that staff are not allowed to use guest bathrooms. Although never expressly stated before, there are to be no more competitions from off the overlooked balcony. You are almost fortunate that the first city holiday party guests thought it was just a passing shower, or you all would have been fired on the spot. As it is, you will all be equally docked for the cost of replanting the flower beds. I don't care if you are participating or not. Management. Okay, you taffers, the service giving all of you a free weekend. Don't screw it up and come back too drunk to stand like last time. Put your weapons and gear in the weapons locker. I'm keeping the key this time. We don't want any more accidents with a guest. Now get out of here, Rufus. Alright, so I guess we're not going to get that key, right? I'm not going to get in the locker. I don't think it matters. Uh, so I should have gone up there earlier, I don't know why I put it off, I just thought maybe something, there'd be something special up there. So the safe, where is the safe? Oh, we... Basement, basement, where's the basement? I mean, the note about the safe was there in the uh,
thingamy in that place. Safe wasn't in here, was it? No, right, so that's the night that's the night manager. And uh, of course the uh, the purported deceased Mr. Owen doesn't actually exist. I'll just put a training dummy in there for the weight. So the only thing that looks like numbers that are found is these, but that's surely not opening a safe, right? It's just lights. It's suddenly turned off lights. Probably just so I can make it easier on for myself. Oh, I don't know. Tell you what, this is now getting on for two hours. We've completed all our objectives except finding another way home. We have the locker nine number locker number nine key. We haven't found the safe. So uh, robbing it seems a bit difficult. Um, I'm just going to very briefly check up here. You know what? I've got these. I've got the spreadable moss. Why don't I just use them? You fool. There's no safe in here. Maybe there's a problem that somehow something in here alerts her. No safe in here. No safe in here. Where would the safe be then? Maybe it is in room number one. All right, let's go back upstairs briefly. Maybe I can lock Mr. Bumblesome in his room again. Uh, wrong way. to do. I need to do a quick test to see if we can distract this lady without it alerting her too much. Oh, that was my last hour. Let's reload. Oh. Oh, she walks. Problem solved. She was just broken patrol. Okay, not a problem. <laughs> I was not. I was, I was thinking she was supposed to be standing there. I guess, I guess not. Is he dead or asleep? I don't know. Oh wait, he'll have his own little nine little taffers. Stayed up very late. One taffer overslept, and then there were eight. What the hell is a taffer anyway? Really good question. Oh yes, a sleeping draft. Um, so funny, several of them are still alive, which seems seems odd, you know. 
Seems like rather a failing on the part of uh, our good hammerite friend. Governor Horridge. Blah blah blah. I'll take that. And the matching one here. Uh, then I think that means I've been everywhere. All the bedrooms. I don't know why we didn't find... Uh, well, friend Erlen is wandering around. She's a mechanist. And Archibald Bumbleson is wandering around. But uh, Lord Carlyle... Our Lord Carlyle was in Brenda Masterson's room, but... I I guess Constable Masterson was wandering around as well. She was the lady in blue with the sword, I guess. All right. Well, we have our evidence, we have our escape route, we have our loot. It's time for us to uh, get the hell out. They can fight among themselves over who's to blame. And I have the evidence to prove it wasn't me, even if they don't believe who it actually was. Where's the way down to the basement again? Not there. Ah, here we are. And to the locker rooms. Which I think is out this way. Yes. Where's my spreadable moss? So locker number nine. The key was missing. We found it. Ah ha ha! By nine, indeed. Oh, there goes the waterfall. Oh, I see. That's this is the closed off door to the waterfall, isn't it? Yes, all right. So it's uh, odd to have a secret door that's not secret on one end, but fair enough. Off we go. Time to get out of here. Well, we uh, survived. We uh, found the evidence. All these rich daffers all have, you know, murdered most of each other. A few of them survived. Good for them. We missed almost 600 loot, of course. Oh, I like that. It, uh, it tells you who lived and who died. Lady Katia Signoli, a noble, perished. Priestess of Pagan, perished. Governor Horridge, a noble, perished. Lord Carlyle, a noble, survived. Archibald Bumbleson, a servant, survived. Countess de Perrin, a noble, perished. Dorcas Goodfellow, a servant, perished. Constable Brenda Masterson, an officer, survived. Friend Erlen, a mechanist, survived. Garrett, a thief, survived. Brother Gerard, a hammerite, perished. Bonus, you snatched the old ale morning star. Alright. Well, that was... 10 little tavers. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I was going to say a see you next mission, but uh, there's two other routes to this mission where we play as uh, Bumbleson and as. Uh, it slips my mind, but the two other difficulty levels, there's two different versions of the same mission, but playing as a different character. So this was the I'm Garrett, sneak in and steal stuff. The other ones are going to be something different. So I'm looking forward to that. 
Uh, but thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next setting of this mission.